Here's everything you need to know about the Great Backyard Bird Count, also known as the GBBC. Why is the bird count so important? It's about helping scientists better understand and protect birds around the world. The long-term data set generated from this effort helps scientists monitor the abundance and distribution of bird species, including changes from habitat, disease, and climate. Yeah, folks, our bird-watching hobby and adventures can make a real difference in conservation efforts. So make sure and stick around to hear our tips on how to make the count easy and more enjoyable. And here's the beauty of it. Anyone can participate. That's right. Whether you're a seasoned birder or just starting out, the Great Backyard Bird Count welcomes everybody. Now let's talk about how you can get involved, focusing first on where you enter your bird observations and count. For beginners, the Merlin Bird ID app is your go-to tool. It's free, user-friendly, and available in multiple languages. It can also help you identify birds by sound or by using your phone's camera. But it will also enter your observations automatically to eBird, the official data portal website used for the GBBC. Simply identify the birds you see or hear through the app, and you're contributing to science. For the more experienced birders out there, eBird Mobile is the way to go. It allows you to enter your bird list right from your phone. So if you're already using eBird or Merlin, your submissions over the four-day counts towards the GBBC. However, if you prefer the comfort of your computer, fear not. You can still participate by entering your sightings on the eBird website. Easy peasy, right? And here's a quick tip that can help you even more leading up to the GBBC, making your birding experience easier and more enjoyable. Make sure to download a checklist of birds commonly found in your area to help you get started before the big count. Check out the link in the description for more details on how to download your list. And make sure to stick around a little longer to hear our three-step guide to participating in the Great Backyard Bird Count. Now that you're equipped with the tools necessary to enter your observation, it's time to get counting. But hey, why bird watch alone when you can join a community event? Find an organized public birding event near you by visiting the Bird Count Org map, or consider inviting a friend or neighbor over and make it a morning. An opportunity to connect in community and share your passion of bird conservation with someone you know. Let's be inclusive and celebrate birds together. So here's your three-step guide to participating in the Great Backyard Bird Count. Step one, decide where you're gonna watch birds for at least 15 minutes. Will you observe birds locally from your yard or go out on an adventure to a nature reserve or park? You decide. Step two, spend at least 15 minutes, but longer if you like, observing and counting birds, keeping track of the kinds of birds you see and how long do you watch. Make your best estimates on how many birds you saw for each species. For example, five house finches or six lesser goldfinches. Large flocks of birds might be more challenging, but give it your best guess. Step three, Lastly, enter your results online using the previously mentioned tools for sharing your sightings. The Merlin or eBird apps are on the eBird website. So what are you waiting for? Mark this on your calendar and get out there. Enjoy nature and let's make a difference together in the word of bird conservation. Happy bird watching everybody.